My name is Steven Ritz and I am a career educator from the South Bronx. Mrs. Obama once said that the way we treat our children is indicative of who we are as a nation. And I believe that food education is one of the most important things that we can do because children will never be well read if they're not well fed. And when you're thinking about the growing number of children who are both hungry and on the flip side of that same evil coin, sick, diseased, and diseased due to what they are eating, nothing could be more important than giving students healthy, fresh food in school, teaching them the art and science of growing food, aligned to Common Core, next generation science standards, and all the content area instruction that drives whole schools. So today we are sitting in the National Health, Wellness, and Learning Center, a place of wonder, aspiration, inspiration, and 21st century learning, a place where children can come in the middle of New York City and be inspired by green floors, blue ceilings, and incredible growing plants. And right in this room, we grow enough groceries to send home 100 bags of groceries per week to students, an additional 100 bags of groceries a week to those who are sick and infirmed and recovering from cancer, our seniors in need. And when you grow that, you're growing so much more than food. You're growing awareness, you're growing empathy, you're growing compassion, and you are growing the next generation of concerned citizens who are determined, able, and willing to change the world. So from the Bronx to the world, I'm delighted to be the CEO and founder of Green Bronx Machine, and I believe that here in the Bronx, we are growing something greater. We are in the poorest congressional district in America, and right here, four stories up, in the middle of public housing, in a hundred-year-old building, we are growing hundreds of bags of groceries per week, 365 days a year, using 90% less water, 90% less space, and transforming academic outcomes and health outcomes for some of the most maligned and diseased children in all of New York City. So I like to say, we grow vegetables, our vegetables grow students, our students grow schools, and our schools grow communities, and that's what this is about. Children should not have to leave their neighborhood to live, learn, and earn in a better one. This classroom has hosted visitors from six continents and over 70 countries right here in the middle of public housing in the South Bronx, and it's proof of one thing. It's proof that zip code and skin color don't determine outcomes in life, and that the Bronx can change attitudes now and change America now. And to think that this humble classroom in the middle of community school, in the middle of public housing, located in the poorest congressional district in America, has gone on to inspire 7,500 other classrooms in America and around the world is proof that the Bronx can change attitudes now and that we are growing something greater. This bow tie has 35 Scrabble points, two triple word scores, and two one-point one words in between. And I love seeing children come to school well-dressed and in a bow tie. Part of what we do here is focus on upcycling, recycling, and repurposing so that it's not about the, having the most, it's making the most out of what little we have. So in this school, we feature children from pre-K all the way to grade five, and then we've got parents and grandparents. And believe it or not, this room fosters meals, fosters community, cooks, sends home all kinds of uh, robust meals, and in addition to training kids to perform well in school. It is the epicenter of our community. This room is known as the National Health, Wellness, and Learning Center at CS55. We're proud partners with New York City Department of Ed, and we've been named an exemplar program, not only for New York City, but for New York State and the nation. And to think that in this very classroom, we've had celebrity after celebrity, up to and including the White House chef, is absolute proof that the Bronx children can do anything they set their minds to. And in this room is the next Barack Obama, Sondra Sotomayor, the next who knows who's coming out of here, but it's my job to inspire children to live, to learn, and to know to live their life without limits, and that every day is an opportunity, just like their plan these plans, to extend your leaves up towards the sun and make epic happen. We've got 99 problems in the South Bronx, but growing fresh fruits and vegetables and happy, healthy students is no longer one. Remember, no justice, no peas. Si se puede.